Unit 14. Recreation. Part A. Reading. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, goes an English saying. Recreation and entertainment are important to people anywhere in the world. However, forms of popular entertainment are different in different countries. In Britain, the most common leisure activities are home-based. Watching television is by far the most popular pastime, and nearly all households have a television set. Over 51% of households have two or more television sets, and average viewing time for the population aged four and over is 25 hours a week. Other pursuits include listening to music, reading, do-it-yourself home improvements, and gardening. British people are also very interested in watching and taking part in sports. Walking and swimming are the two most popular sporting activities, being almost equally undertaken by men and women. Snooker, pool and darts are the next most popular sports among men. The most popular spectator sports are football and rugby in winter and cricket and athletics in summer. In the last few years in Britain, a new trend has been developing, that is, taking weekend or holiday courses. There is an enormous range of courses on offer. The courses can be as simple as bricklaying or as sophisticated as making your own stock market decisions. For people who are interested in art, there are courses in painting or drawing. People who like music can take a course in karaoke singing. Courses like shoemaking or glass engraving provide people with practical skills they can do with their hands. Those who want to improve their minds can take a course of living with more meaning. Entry qualifications to weekend courses are generous. That is, generally no qualifications are necessary apart from an ability to pay the fees, which may be quite high. Task 1 Three students are talking about how they would like to spend their holiday. Listen and decide whether the statements are true or false. Anna It's hot and humid in New York City in the summer, and I often feel depressed then. So, in July and August, I often go out of the city to the west, where there are some beautiful national parks and forests. I often go with my friends, and we sp spend about two weeks in a national park every year. We might stay in campgrounds in the park, but wilderness areas are more fun. What we enjoy most is to ride our dirt bike in the desert take showers in the waterfalls, and swim in lakes and rivers. And at night, we sleep in our sleeping bags or tents and cook on our gas stove. It's wonderful that we can live in nature and enjoy it. Terry I used to go to the mountains, the desert, and other places with spectacular scenery in summer. I don't anymore although I'm still attracted to the beauty of nature. But I do think these natural places aren't as beautiful as they used to be. Now, more and more people are going to these places. They leave trash in the forest and take rocks and plants with them. They don't care about nature. I believe not only people are important to the world, Nature is important, too. Mary Like most other people, I'm very fond of natural, spectacular scenery. But when I travel, I spend most of my time in cities. Why I don't want to live in nature and enjoy it? It's the solitude of the wilderness. It's for animals and plants, not for me. I hate camping, too. I can't put up an umbrella tent in the wind. 
I can't make a fire in the rain, and a backpack is usually too heavy for me. So I'd better stay in the cities and enjoy the comfort they offer. Task 2. Answer the questions. Three students are talking about how they would like to spend their holiday. Listen and decide whether the statements are true or false. Anna. It's hot and humid in New York City in the summer, and I often feel depressed then. So, in July and August, I often go out of the city to the west, where there are some beautiful national parks and forests. I often go with my friends, and we spend about two weeks in a national park every year. We might stay in campgrounds in the park, but wilderness areas are more fun. What we enjoy most is to ride our dirt bike in the desert, take showers in the waterfalls, and swim in lakes and rivers. And at night, we sleep in our sleeping bags or tents and cook on our gas stove. It's wonderful that we can live in nature and enjoy it. Terry I used to go to the mountains, the desert, and other places with spectacular scenery in summer. I don't anymore, although I'm still attracted to the beauty of nature. But I do think these natural places aren't as beautiful as they used to be. Now, more and more people are going to these places. They leave trash in the forest and take rocks and plants with them. They don't care about nature. I believe not only people are important to the world. Nature is important too. Mary Like most other people, I'm very fond of natural, spectacular scenery. But when I travel, I spend most of my time in cities. Why I don't want to live in nature and enjoy it? It's the solitude of the wilderness. It's for animals and plants, not for me. I hate camping too. I can't put up an umbrella tent in the wind. I can't make a fire in the rain. And a backpack is usually too heavy for me. So I'd better stay in the cities and enjoy the comfort they offer. Task 2. Answer the questions. Part C. Listening. Listen and repeat. Campgrounds. Trash. Wilderness. Giant trees. Waterfalls. Depressed. Dirt bike. Solitude. Part E. Language focus. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Sits. Eats. Meets. Reads. Friends, kids, marched, watched, reached, bridged, raged, managed. Practice reading aloud these sentences. 1. He usually sits at the back of the class. 2. She has lots of friends. 3. When he was young, he watched television three hours a day. 
four. We managed to get three tickets for the match. Five. They bridged the river, then pitched their tent on the bank.